And it seems like nobody actually likes them more than they like us. It doesn't say for anyone, you know, civilizations that like you, that they like more than you have denounced you or anything like that. So if I denounce Suleiman, he's probably going to be in a bit of trouble. And that would be hilarious, so... Probably going to go ahead and do it. Unless I can get open borders with him. Hey, listen, give me open borders, man. How do we not have embassies yet? I mean, he was willing to give me that. Listen, I'm gonna give you, like, one gold per turn. Two gold per turn. Oh, you idiot, you have no idea what you just did. Very good for me, though, so I will not be complaining today. East India Company, let's... Actually, yes, let's put that in Antwerp. We can reach a lot of cities from here. It would probably be for the best. Brandenburg Gate, I honestly don't care for. Just get you out there. Where, you know, if war does erupt, it would be good to have you around. Three more turns for that. And after that's done, the Hermitage, I'm going to need an Opera House for that. Must have built a market in all cities. So, after the Grand Temple, we need to make the Hermitage. Um, so, we should probably do that before we make it in a new city up north here, just to block everything. It won't really serve a big purpose. I just want to, you know, annoy the shit out of people. Uh, stop Poland's main army from actually getting anywhere. That's gonna be hilarious. So, just kind of looking forward to that. Although his army is on its way now. Which is less than ideal. Because they're gonna go through here. So, we need, actually need to speed this up and probably just buy a market in, um... Belgrade. Are we not? We're not allies already, so that's stupid. And they're too far away to actually be influenced by me. Alright, policy. Let's see if there's anything that really helps me out. Volunteer army is a lot, a lot of money, though. I mean, it really is. That can save by just... Let's do it. And then I realized that you actually have to pay a lot of money for the Foreign Legion troops. So... I probably should have thought about that before I did this. That is quite the realization. All right. Hermitage, let's get an opera house in Liege. Let's purchase one. Opera house, opera house, opera house, flyer. Are you kidding me? We need an empty theater first. All right. That was pretty expensive, but totally worth it. We'll get the Hermitage in about five turns. We will be able to get the Hermitage, which is good. Hello, Melbourne. You exist, so, you know, that's good. What's going on, bitches? We're just passing through. Alright, Foreign Legion. They are actually really strong as well, so... Good for me, I guess. That is really good in this time period, because they're almost as strong as Grey War Infantry. And we are not quite there yet, so... That's good. Number three, number one, three... One, three, one, one. We have the biggest population on the planet right now. Which is definitely worth a bit of applause, if you ask me. Not that anyone is asking me anything ever, but, you know, it's a thing. Alright, let's see. We're gonna put you there. I wanna sort of spread these dudes around. I'm gonna put two chasseurs around Liege, and I think it's gonna be enough for, for now. You know, we can see Poland coming if they try anything. Uh, I don't want to denounce... Okay, they covet my lands. They really, really do. Publicly denounce that bitch. Let's show him what it means to be an asshole. And I definitely want to send some more units towards the actual front of the war. Because he's not going to be very happy with what I just did. He is going to be quite angry. Yep, he hates them. I'm expecting a lot of messages from people saying... Uh, sure, why not? Let's see what happens there. Yup, he hates the Ottomans, and this is probably gonna spark a bunch of different wars. So that's gonna be really fun to watch. They hate the Ottomans. This is what it's like to be loved. I finally know the feeling. And it feels good. It feels good. Mm, Alright, I was afraid of that one. Alright. Alright, let's just do it. It's not worth it for me to actually pay a shit ton of money for the salt. Although it would improve relations with 
uh, Vatican City, I believe. Yep, you got it. Everybody's denouncing the Ottomans, and I believe that that's not good for them because there's going to be a lot of little alliances against them now. I've never actually denounced someone in this way, and I'm really happy I did. Totally worth it. Those stupid sons of bitches. All right. Sit here, keep an eye on the Polish. Let's see, we're probably gonna go north to that citrus. I'm gonna go nab that right away because we don't have any citrus yet, and I do believe that we were gonna get a We Love the King Day if we managed to grab it, so I might wanna just, you know, do that. Uh, here we go. Let's see if we can block off their army because if we can do that, that's gonna be great. Upgrade for the knight. I only have one knight, I believe, so. Not that big a deal, but at least I have a nice cavalry now. Also, dynamite in five, which I believe will be an upgrade for the cannons that I have around. I have two of those, I believe. One there and one... Yep, there. Found it. All right. <laughs> Almost lost it there. Grand Temple. Yes, please. That would be so good. All right, split up the foreign regions a little bit. Foreign regions, foreign legions is what I tried to say there. Just came a kind of came out wrong. And you are good over there. Just keep an eye on those shitty Ottomans if they're gonna try to do anything, which I wouldn't put against them. I want to be ready for that shit. And we're gonna send the Inquisitor over to Cusco, so we can get rid of the stupid uh, Judaism. Get that Grand Temple. Also, public school. Our science is definitely doing really well right now. And I fully expect to become number one in that as well. Yep, the Ottomans freaking suck. So the only thing... Yep, I do have extra wine. You know what? I'm going to throw all this in there as well. Give me 21 gold per turn. Alright, you know what? I'll cut you a deal. Oh, he totally did it. You son of a bitch. Alright. So, literacy number four... Uh, 1111 population slightly lower, but in everything that matters pretty much I am quite high except literacy could be a Little better, but land is good soldiers. I definitely did not expect to be number one in soldiers But I suppose the foreign legions are definitely a big help in that regard No longer the ally of Colombo. We should probably correct that mistake Because that's what it is a tiny little mistake Colombo, you made a mistake my man I'm gonna come back on my side. Caravansary, some walls would be good, yes. If something does go wrong with that little war, we are going to need some dudes. Get me a settler as quick as you possibly can, which is still two turns, so default focus should be just fine. Keep going. Get me the citrus, because I'm going to eat it. I'm expecting another city-state somewhere up there. So I'm just going to try to find them. You go south. Alright, you can stick around here. We have maybe too many armies here, I just realized. That is a lot of shit I have. And my next policy, I'm actually going to pick commerce, just so I can actually pay some bills. That would be really sweet. Go sit over here. Don't have to walk next turn. That was a mistake. Let's sit over here. We're going to block the ocean off a bit. And we are all good. I have a beautiful army. And I'm really happy about that. Here you go. Good job, bud. So what I'll do is I'll actually... As soon as I found my next city over here... Just to block everything. I'm going to just throw a citadel up there. Three gold per turn. That is a little in insulting. Give me six. I'm willing to make it a fair deal for you, but if you're going to be a, a dick, dick whore about it, then it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Kind of shot yourself in the foot right there. Already denounced you and everybody hates your guts, so... Yeah, I don't need coal. I need seven gold per turn. Thank you very much. Alright, guard it now. He's neutral, or she's neutral, sorry. We have a lot of friendships going on. Except with Suleiman, because he's an angry, angry man. Oh, and actually, it's a new, it's actually a positive thing when they all... We have denounced the same leaders, plus 15, so Paul and I are just really, you know... Really good buds right now. 
Definitely did not expect that from the start of the game. Alright, my spy's been promoted, which is good. Free technology, which we're stealing from the Ottomans. Obviously, I want to steal shit from the Ottomans. I'm going to go with... Uh, steam power or electricity. It will get me to replaceable parts, but so will that, so... I need this for railroad anyway, so let's just grab that. I want my Neuschwanstein. Caravansary, a garden. Brandenburg Gate. Sure, let's just try and grab it just for that free general. I honestly don't really care. But it could help in, in terms of war. Oh, that's the end of the world already. Look at that, we found it. Finally found it, guys. Finally proved it. The world is definitely... Shitty. Uh, here we go. You go over there. You're gonna go over there. And here we go. There's some nice armies we got here. Good luck beating my foreign legion, you sucker. Alright, now get me that settler, though. Ankara. There we go. We've reached that. Cusco is next. Take a step around it. And this place is in ruins. Look at that. He never even made a road to Cusco. Machu is about to be converted. And in about seven turns... Look at that. 93 pressure. 72. 54. 63. I like it. Get me seven. Thank you very much. Still over 200 gold, although I would like it to go up a bit. You got it. Almost 400 signs already. Usually I don't get that much until a bit later in the game. Ideology has been adopted. Order. Is that the one I picked? I don't even remember. I think I went with freedom. Yep, Belgian freedom, bitches. Which means that the Celts are going to be sort of not really my allies anymore. So the ideology is definitely a thing that could still really, you know, cause problems in this peaceful land. Uh, let's see, lighthouse. Let's go with a bank. Sure, bank's good. Public school in Brussels. How the fuck do we not have one of those yet? That is utterly embarrassing. You know, utterly, like on a cow. And let's go... Let's check the end of the map. It's not that there's anything there. It's like, you know, actually seeing everything there is. And you're all good. You're all looking really good. Get over to Cusco. Look at that one tile they have. That is hilarious. I have no idea what's up with that, because it looks like it's just one tile. Slightly confusing, but at least I'll be able to get the Inquisitor over to Cusco. And hopefully, maybe, get rid of Judaism. No pressure there. There's a bit of pressure for me there. Not here, though. Oh, there actually there is. That is super cool. Also, I'm expecting another city state, probably in Scotland or something like that. Maybe southern England. I don't know. Someone out there still, I think. Dynamite. And... Boom goes the dynamite. I <laughs> get it? Okay. Golden Age. That is a sweet. Get it out of the way, fucker. There we go. I'm probably just gonna found the city there, which is perfect for me. Look at that. That is the strangest construction of borders that I've ever seen. And I am actually okay with it. The Celts are probably guarded by now, or just neutral. Alright, dude, give me open borders. I will give it... I will give you for it five gold per turn. Alright, I guess it's not gonna be happening then. Which is definitely a little sad. Let's just kill some barbarians, because why not? Five more turns for world religion. I have 11 votes. Though I do feel I should poach another one of those city-states. I want my religion. Uh, let's see. Archaeology, flight. Railroad is definitely... Prora would be pretty cool. But I also want to get the Statue of Liberty. That could be really good as well. Let's get Railroad first. Because I'm just in love with Railroad. And I don't have to explain why. And you are good. Alright, so next turn we're finally going to get our sixth city. And, you know, we do have the happiness to uh, to accommodate that. So I think we should be just fine. Oh, Budika declared war on Bluetooth. He's going to get wiped out soon enough. 
Autocracy for Poland. Okay, well, that's definitely going to be a source of friction between the two of us. Oh, boy. But we're still friends, so it's, it's, it could still work, I think. Let's hope it does work, because I will... I'm not really planning on switching over my, um... My own shit. Uh, culture victory. Alright, we're all already getting minus nine, because we're getting influenced by the stupid Celts. Ooh, an upgrade for this dude, alright. Let's go with a nice little... Naval unit upgrade, and shoot this bitch ass in the face. And let's get a... An arsenal, I guess. I don't... Whatever, man. Alright, take a step this way. Found the city. Antiquity site. I can't even see the antiquity site, man. I wish that you had told me. Permanently removed. Alright, let's just, you know, let's avoid that then. I guess that would be for the best. If we try not to remove the shit that we want to keep. And I just want to pass through, but that's not happening, so we're going to have to go south again and just make that entire journey all the way around. And just... Oh my god, that's going to be a bitch to do, but okay. I mean, that little expedition with the worker and the what used to be a swordsman was just a great idea, I think. Because I got a lot of money from that, a lot of the resources, and it was just a good idea. And if you disagree, you can suck my butt. Yeah, alright. Let's do that. Pretty sure I have way more soldiers than Poland, so, you know, I'd like to see him try something. Yup, that works for me. Want to keep that up? Gandhi declared war on Bluetooth. You know, if you pissed off Gandhi, you really did something wrong. That's just... You really fucked yourself in the butt. Very good. Moved by my piety. Oh, you should be, because I'm very pious. I'm a very pious man. Great prophet. Uh, most literate people. I am quite close. Alright, bunch of shit has ended. I honestly don't even give a ball sack. Um, mm, I think this would be even better. I've just made up my mind, and yes, that is better. Let's let's waste another turn and go there. Cusco. Wait, what? Where's my option to remove the heresy? Maybe it's because it's a holy city and I don't own it or something. Well, at least I gave it a shot, you know. That's that's got to be worth something. Uh, arsenal, windmill, stable, forge, but I don't... Another worker, not really necessary. An artillery, not really necessary either. Garden Forge is production, so let's go with the Forge, because it's always good. Made up my mind. Uh, food. We don't really need to send food anywhere anymore. Let's just trade with Krakow, or Rocklaw. It's the same result, basically, so let's just do that. We'll probably get some more pressures uh, from me. Upgrade for this bad boy, though. 140, it's expensive, but artillery. Look at that, he is actually doing what I predicted he would do. And he's going all the way around. That is hilarious. I love it. Very good. Okay. Oh, man. This was quite the idea. So I'm going to make this city. We're going to close it up. All we need to do is sort of protect the borders a little bit and then keep an eye on Poland. Because uh, he did adopt, I want to say, autocracy, I believe. Yep, autocracy. So that could be an issue. But if we keep an eye on him and really, you know smash his ass into smithereens, I think we're gonna be fine, so... Hey man, what the hell? What are you up to here with your Hussar? It's a little sh little sneaky what you're doing. And I'm not sure I like it. 